Hello and welcome to a Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff and today we're going to unpack and build the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter. That is better known or otherwise known as set number 75325 and it was released in 2022 so yes I am behind on this one and 412 pieces and four minifigures. It retailed for $59.99 or still retails for $59.99. The thing about this set is that uh, this comment I'm going to make here is not for most people. Um, most of you have seen The Phantom Menace, most of you are familiar with the storyline, but for those who are not, um, this is basically um, the starfighters that were used in The Phantom Menace on the planet of Naboo to uh, defend the planet against the droids and all that stuff. This right here, I mean, obviously it's modified from this original version. Um, in the movie, in the movie they were yellow and chrome, uh, and this one is just gray, light gray, and a little bit of dark gray. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, and after you hit that like button and subscribe, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the building. Welcome back. This concludes the build of set number 75325, the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. And next we're going to do the review. If you've watched this channel before, this part is a review of the review. But if you haven't watched the channel, we go by six things. Value, creativity, playability, ease of build, part out value, and then I average them all to give you a overall value. So let's start off with the value. What are you getting here? You're getting, like I said, the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter, which if you've watched The Phantom Menace, you know that this is uh, the main starfighter for the planet Naboo and with Queen Amidala and all that good stuff. And this one does not have the royal paint job that's all chrome, and nor does it have the normal paint job of yellow and chrome. It just has this beat up multicolored thing. But anyway, what are you getting? You're getting a, a set that was produced in 2022, 412 pieces, four minifigures, and a retail price of $59.99. That makes it 14.6 uh, cents per piece. That is high in my opinion, um, even for a licensed set, 
because a lot of the licensed sets have been 12 to 13 cents, so I'll give it a value of 7 out of 10. Creativity, I will give it a 10 out of 10, and that's because even though it's not the right colors, well, it is the right colors according to The Mandalorian Season 3 and beyond, but um, it is not the right colors as far as, like, like I said, it should be yellow and chrome. Even though it's not the right colors, the detail is where it needs to be. Um, the, this is supposed to be a droid compartment here, and instead, uh, Grogu goes in there. That's, and this is his place. Anyway, um, you're getting, uh, you know, some of the panels have been removed and all that good stuff. And so you see the inner workings of the engine. I think it looks really cool. Um, I'm going to give the creativity a 10. Playability, it's a 10, and that's because there is the Razor Crest. There are other sets that are related to the Mandalorian series that if you had a few of them, you can make a scene or several scenes out of the movie with um, these sets. So playability is also a 10 out of 10. Ease of build, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. The engines were a little tricky, especially with these round pieces sometimes, uh, getting them lined up and all that, but it wasn't bad overall, so 9 out of 10 there. Part out value, I can only give it an 8, and that's because I don't like wedges. I don't like wedges because they're hard to use in other sets, um, especially the kind of building that I do, which is mostly city. And so I'm going to give the part out value 8. If you average that all out, you get an 8.8. .8. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching this uh, video and taking time with me today. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and leave me a comment below. If you want to help out the channel, there are several ways, and I'll go through them briefly. If you want to make a donation, there's a link to PayPal to make a donation. If you'd like to buy pieces from my BrickLink store, it's called the Chip Off the Old Block. Link's in the description, and we have about 800,000 pieces. You head there, you get pieces for your builds, and I get money for buying sets like this and keeping the channel going. So it, it works both ways. If you want to help me out also, the algorithm loves it when you watch another video of mine right after watching this one. So if you got time, please watch another video. Another thing you can do is share a link to this video or any other video on other social media platforms and just get the word out there that the channel's here and let people know that we do great reviews. All right, guys, I appreciate your help. Be good to each other, stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next one.